God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And he gathered together the waters called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, herb, yielding seed, fruit tree, yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. Evening and morning, the third day. Trees and vegetation was made before the sun. So how does photosynthesis work? Listen, photosynthesis is working in a fallen creation in time. Everything was created in light life. It lived on the very life of God. The man ate, had to eat from the tree of life, which was fruit for him. And that fruit was meat. Now we know Jesus came when he said, he says, my meat is to do the will of the Father. Do you see that you have to connect all these things to even understand Genesis? <laughs> the first, the second, and the third day was total provision. And we know the fourth day was light again. So let's go right into day four. In the beginning was light. Now there's light again. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from night. To divide the day from night. We've got a stop and Sila again. In the beginning, he separated light from darkness. Now he made lights again and he, he separated day from night. Now these are principles laid down to govern time. This is the DNA of time. No matter how many people have died in a war? The sun came up at the right time. No matter what economic systems collapse, tomorrow morning the sun comes up. It doesn't matter what happens in your life, tomorrow morning the sun comes up. The most cruelest thing on earth is that life just goes on. No, that is the purposes of God. It doesn't matter what happens in your life, tomorrow morning the sun comes up. There are so many people that go to bed thinking, oh, what I'm going to do tomorrow morning, you've got the same problem. So you can just as well get a, your mind on God and get a new start in the morning. Come on, man. That's why he says his mercies are new every morning. These lights that he created, let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over day and over night and to divide light from darkness. And God saw that it was good and it was evening and morning the fourth day. And he said, these lights would be for signs and seasons and years. Now this is what happens in time, signs and seasons and years. Our, t our time is governed by these heavenly elements. Now, I have a little problem here that um, we really have to look at. We all know that Earth revolves around the sun and the whole solar system works like that. But if we look at creation day, Earth was created before the sun. So we have to understand the eternal setting of God and time. And if you mix these two, you have trouble. So when we start reading the Bible, it is history in time. The only thing that was before time was the Christ coming out of the bosom of the Father. So time kicked in with the fall of man. So if you mess up time with the eternal setting, you're not going to understand that. But in the spirit, you can understand it. So this is why I say, if you read this with a natural mind, like I have done for years and years and years, you know, we, we, we know all the um, creation stories from childhood. I, I actually feel sorry for people that study science without the spirit. Because what I'm saying, you can only understand it by the Spirit. There are two things, light and darkness. 
science till today are struggling to find out what is dark matter. Well, we all know what dark matter is in the spirit, you understand. It's rebellion that was there before creation. You have to get it in the spirit. Now, the other amazing thing is everything science ever explains, they explain with light. They take the light of sun rays and they break it up and they can tell you what the sun consists of, how far it is away. It is just amazing what they do, how far they go. They send probes, meaning they can now see to the right of beginning of creation, but they still don't get it that God said, by faith, we can understand that God made the heaven and the earth. Yeah.